With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, student. Let us start with the question. Here we have given if the angle between the tangents drawn from extreme point P to a circle and radius R and center O is 60 degree, then find the length of OP. So generally he is talking about this. So let this is the circle with center O. Okay, this is the point free. From that point, two tangents have been drawn onto the circle at the point A and B respectively. And the angle in between these two points that is AP, AB is nothing but 60 degree. Now, as we know that the perpendicular distance means radius of the circle. Okay, here considered as a now let us start with the solution so first of all what is asked here here it is asked to find the length of op means this length is having asked so if you will look at the figure if you will look at the figure so what is given to us we have given here the angle apb is nothing but is equals to 60 degree okay let this is equation number one now if you look at the figure we can see there there are two triangles that is oap and obp so let us start with them so let in triangle opb opb and in triangle opa now what i can say that first if you look at the figure so oa and ob are nothing but radii of the same circle hence they will, both of them will be equal so here i can write oa and ob are nothing but equal which are nothing but is equals to a radii of the same circle now if i look the figure as well i know that tangent drawn from external point onto the circle are perpendicular to the radius of the circle oa and ob both of them are radius hence this angle obp and oap will be equal okay so here i can say that the angle oap is nothing but is equals to angle obp is nothing but is equals to 90 degree now as we know that tangent drawn from external point onto the circle are equal okay so from here i can write the length of ap mean the first tangent will be nothing but is equals to bp now hence from this point uh, from this three conclusion it is proved that by the side angle side test it is proved that the given two triangles that is triangle o a p is nothing but congruence to the triangle o b p and if two triangles are congruous then other part of that triangle will also be congruous so here i can say that the angle opa and angle opb will be nothing but equal okay from here i can say that angle opa will be nothing but is equals to angle opb will be equal okay and which will be nothing but is equals to 30 degree why it is 30 degree because the angle in between the two tangent is 60 and these both angle if these both angle are equal then 60 uh, this uh, mean, means angle opa plus angle opb will be nothing but equals to angle apb so here this uh, both of the angle will become 30 degree okay now I want to find the length of OP. So to find the length of OP, I will say let in triangle OPB in triangle OPB by using the trigonometric property that is sine of 30 is nothing but is equals to opposite. So if you look at the figure, so opposite is nothing but OB. Okay upon hypotenuse so hypotenuse is nothing but op okay now i will simply put the values over here sine 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 is equals to ob we have considered here as a 
and op will be as it is so from here i will get the length or you can say value of op is nothing but is equals to twice of a which is asked in the question so here is the length of op that is is equals to twice of a i hope you will like the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today